hey, take a look. Just got the tube out. See it's broken. Let's see what the tube look like on the x-ray. Welcome to my channel. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video for regarding to the wisdom tube on the lower left, uh, number 17 area, partial erupted tube. And um, uh, this video, hopefully it's helpful for young dentists and general dentists who wanna explore, um, investigate whether you try to take this tube out or refer to a specialist. First thing I would do is making sure that you have enough visibility access from the, the mouth. If the mouth is too small, don't mess with, refer to a specialist. Better to do that way, save your time. Less complication. So in this case, even though um, the uh, uh, mouth is uh, uh, quite big to do, to do, but uh, when I take the PA on the panel, I didn't like it. So I had to obtain the um, CT scan. Look at the um, uh, IA nerve very close. That's the CT scan also show you the other angle where the IA is actually uh, more of the buckle uh, compared to the root of the uh, tube. So uh, it is safe to remove if you know what you're doing. Uh, so uh, let's jump in and see how I do that, okay? And uh, these are not a CT scan and how um, you can see the different angle. Let's take a look at the two. It came out in uh, three pieces. I actually had to use surgical uh, a hand piece to uh, dissect the tube into uh, two, but when I split it, it uh, it's broken. So that's the reason why we had to do uh, to pick out into three pieces. Anyway, this is how the tube came out. Uh, the root is really curved. It took me, um, um, I would say, 10 15 minutes, but uh, it's, it wasn't that bad. The uh, patient was 22 years old, uh, Asian. Uh, uh, American Asian, so the uh, bone wasn't that hard. Just need some kind of leverage to remove, uh, to luxate the tube, and it should come right out after you flap the case. Thank you for watching. I'm hoping that uh, if you try to decide to do it, just know how to do the flap design, making sure that the patient um, have enough uh, resting, TMJ, pain, and all of that can occur after. You spend too much time on uh, doing uh, removing the tube. You have to be able to determine uh, how you're gonna approach the key before you start it. Um, don't go in and until that time and start thinking. So, numb the patient. Allow yourself time to think about how you flap it. Every key can be uh, slightly different. You have to make sure you have um, learned a few techniques about flap design. And uh, in this case, after I remove it, I shoot your primary closer, completely closer too. Patient was happy to go home. Uh, anyway, um, we get her some antibiotic pain medication, uh, just for precaution for infection and pain. Uh, she did gonna, she's going to come back a couple of weeks to take out a suture. And uh, she did uh, she tolerate very well. Uh, both we removed number uh, 1 and 16 for her a, a few months ago. And now we're gonna do the number 17 and later on we're gonna do number 32. It's the same uh, situation. I'll follow up. Uh, if you follow up with my channel, you're gonna see number 32 uh, case. Thank you for watching you guys. Have a good day, bye bye.